Hello, welcome back to Eclectic Allo. This is Alina, all the way from Buenos Aires, Argentina. And today I'm answering another question from my Spanish speaking channel. They wanted me to, to talk about DARVO. So let's do that. DARVO is an acronym and it, it's a term that was coined by Jennifer Freight from the University of Oregon. And she said that D stands for deny what the victim says, attack the victim, and reverse victim offender. So reverse roles there, right? So the, the victim is now the offender and the offender is the victim. That's what they do. So the offender takes the role of the victim, which is what narcissists do, which is what psychopaths do. We know this, we know this, right? This is a uh, manipulation, pure and simple, but it's institutionalized and it's used in trials and in the court and in the judicial system. And it's been known to be used by presidents as well, a few presidents, okay? And politicians, when they deny accusations of sexual assault and uh, of abuse. So what they do, is they deny the accusation, they attack the victim, and they they portray themselves as being the victims, and and the victim, the real victim, as being the offender. So that's what they do. We take this to from an institutional level to it could this could happen in institutions as well. So that's where they scapegoat the victim for speaking the truth, and so they accuse that person of being a liar and of being the offender and the institution plays the role of the victim. Okay, so this is another manipulation tactic that nurses, psychopaths use to get what they want. And we all know these tactics. It's just that they are put together in this acronym, which is DARVO, and with steps and it's Great, I love this because they made research on this and they found that the if a victim has more exposure, so the more exposure to DARVO, the more likely that the victim will be seen as guilty. But there's the good part is that they also found that the more education, psychoeducation about DARVO that we spread the word everywhere about DARVO, the more, the more people know about DARVO, the more likely um, that the real offender will be found guilty, okay? So, or the less believable the real offender will be. If people know about DARVO, there's more chance that you can accuse the real offender, okay? And so one other aspect of this that I wanted to add, I wanted to add that this is exactly what happens in narcissistic abusive relationships. Like if you are dealing with a narcissist or a psychopath, malignant narcissist, what they do is this all the time, that you're exposed to being gaslighted and to being lied to and to, <laughs> they accuse you of pure lies and they, they take the role of the victim just like this and they are masters, actors especially. For example, in uh, divorce trials and uh, what do you say, what's the word in English? When you're, you know, uh, divorcing a person, the, the psychopath, him or her, will start taking the role of the victim when the total victim is the other one, the other spouse. And so it's ridiculous for the, for the real victim to see how the psychopath lies and lies and big lies and more lies and, and people, they don't know that even, they, they have no idea this person is lying and so they believe the person. But, so this research developed, uh, done by Jennifer Frey brings hope because it says that if we talk and we give voice to DARVO and to, um, let me add my uh, humble opinion, 
if we talk about everything, about narcissism and psychopaths and all the manipulation tactics that they use, the more likely people will start to at least doubt, you know, at least know that uh, the psychopath is, is playing the role of the victim, you know, and so people will start to open their eyes and see you know, red flags and be aware of what really goes on. So yes, that's what Darvo is. And I think it's another manipulation tactic that happens in in, in an abusive relationships. And yeah, so it's a good thing to know about that. And if you want to read her paper, I'll link it below. It's very interesting and yeah. So that's it for today. I hope I can see you next week. Please click subscribe right here and the notification bell so that I can see you next week. Please, if you want to leave a comment, please let me know if you've ever seen this happen or if this happened to you in the past. I bet if you've been in a relationship with a, a narcissist, for sure this happened to you on a daily basis, right? This happens all the time, okay? And so, okay, let me know. Please subscribe. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for being here.